that's quite a long time ago. Uh, I actually bought, I think it was the Crestfallen EP, like mid 90s. And um, yeah, I was a big fan of the band then. Uh, followed them for, yeah, from there until now, I guess. Fun fact is that uh, we actually talked about that at the end of the session, and it turned out that they were actually listening to one of my bands at the same time, which was a band called In the Woods. Uh, so it's like the circle is complete loud now. Something I cannot say, something I can explain. Well, I guess you have several roles. Um, I think maybe uh, like with Anathema, which are so great musicians, one of the most important things is just to get the best out of them. Because they can do so much, you can really just push, push them as far as you want and they'll just keep on um, giving great results. And uh, I don't know, that was one of my goals with that production, just to try to make them um, just communicate even more. And I think they did. Uh, so that was great fun. Um, it's also time management and stuff like that, and um, de depending on how you work with the band, but depends. But with these guys, there there was like um, a deeper working relationship. So they trusted me, and I could uh, come with um, ideas for arrangements and melodies and stuff like that, and it would be just bouncing off ideas of each other and. Yeah, it was more of a creative process as well, but that was, that was fun. I think it's actually to be able to see things from the sideline, but at the same time be involved in the same way as the band is. Because you really have a big responsibility, the same as the band, you know, it's like the most important thing. So being able to see things from the sideline but be, and be focused, but at the same time let yourself go creative-wise and just uh, know when to speak and when not to speak because sometimes they don't need you at all. Yeah.